This is a Philips 18 series juicer. Uh, trouble I had with this is the motor. Now, it's a very poor design. This motor has a fan on the other end. And there's no ventilation whatsoever around here. So it gets hot. It gets very hot. The other problem I had was the commutator here. Now carbon dust built up around the brush holder end of the motor here inside and arced across and burned the inside of this. So I had to get me Dremel and clean it up and blow all the carbon dust out and it's apart from being carbon everywhere i had to take the motor apart and clean it um easier said than done the other thing is on this board here this here where it says f1 is a fuse that blue it's a micro fuse um I can't tell you what size it is, but I've replaced it with around a 5 amp link. And I've also put into the plug a 5 amp fuse rather than the 13 amp fuse. Just in case this happens again. Now this juicer gets used for quite long periods of time and I need to let it cool down. And as you can see, uh, the casing has deformed and melted. So a very poor design. Because of the carbon buildup, you can see the commutator is grooved. And that's a sign of uh, abrasion from the dust that's produced from the brushes which says to me, and I've looked it up, uh, the brush is the wrong type for this type of environment. Um, and because of the carbon buildup, we can't get out. <clears throat> it also leaves a black patch of carbon um, on the, uh, goes through the grill in the bottom and drops onto the tabletop and it causes a stain. So I now do this on top of a glass uh, panel so I can easily clean it. So I hope that's of some help. The motor comes apart fairly easily. You need to pry out this here, underneath here, and then you can unscrew. You put a big screwdriver on here this then unscrews and then there's three caps need to be removed take them out three screws underneath this black plastic piece comes away from the motor and then to take the motor apart you've got two screws one there and one there and um, just take a picture of where all the cable ties are. Now, uh, the other thing is, we've got some suppression capacitors, which didn't make it. I'm not gonna put them back on. I should do really. Um, I don't know if you might better make out what that is. I'm not sure. But as far as I can make out, they're just suppression uh, uh, capacitors which stop interference on radios and TVs and the like. But I'm a bit naughty, so I'm not going to replace them into the uh, situation. Uh, I don't mind if my neighbour's TV gets a bit interfered with <laughs> while I'm doing some juicing once a year. I don't use it very often, this. It's just for doing the apples uh, for my cider. And 
Okay, so I've now got to put all this back together and see if uh, the motor repair is successful. Now, one more thing, this uh, motor is DC. This board here converts AC to DC. Uh, there's a rectifier bridge on here, which you can see there. And uh, inductance and a, I think that is, what is that? Mm. Not sure what that orange box is. Could be a relay or it could be a capacitor. But it's uh, AC to DC, 220 volt DC to the motor. So you have to remember it's uh, directional. If we reverse the polarity, it will go the wrong way. Um, so remember where the wires are and if it does go the wrong way you just got to swap the brushes around the other way okay that's it rest of my apples done with this uh, juicer. I'm sure this one is not long for this world. Um, I will not buy another one of these. Um, the design is very poor. The motor is poorly cooled. The carbon buildup caused a small fire underneath there. Um, really bad idea and just to make it compact um it cost a lot of money it was like 120 quid or something when i bought this very very uh all right for one or two cups of juice every morning won't get hot last a long time but for for durability and um duty cycle nah it's no good. Um, I'm going to try a slow juicer next time.